Hey, Matt 31, I had a question coming out of section 7.1, number 69, and these are always fun, these solution problems. You might remember running into them in a different algebra class. They always seem to, to bug students, so you're in good company. So, so let's take a look. This scientist is mixing a 10% saline solution and a 60% saline solution and ultimately gets 25 gallons of a 40% saline solution. So we're being asked here how much of each of these solutions were mixed up. Because again, if we just kind of take a step back, right, we have not so much saline, a ton of saline, and we get medium saline. So how much of each did we need to get this 40% this saline solution? And just off to the side here, I want us to think about 40% of 25 gallons. If we take 0 0.40 and multiply that by 25 gallons, you find out you actually have 10 um, gallons of this saline. So 10 gallons of saline and then 15 gallons of something else. But we have 10 gal gallons, we have 10, 10 gallons of saline. I'm mixing gallons and saline. All right, so we have 10 gallons of saline in this 40% solution. But, but ultimately they're saying how much of, the 10% and how much of the 60% do we need? So that's where you see my two variables here. So we've got the number of gallons of the 10% solution as X and the number of gallons of the 60% solution as Y. And so since I had two variables, I need two equations to balance that out. And here is my first equation. And if you're wondering where I got that from, it's a, uh, a manipulated version of X plus Y being equal to 25 because they told me in total I have 25 gallons. So the number of gallons of the 10% and the 60%, they've got to total out to 25. And I just opted to substitute that, excuse me, solve for y here because I knew I was ultimately going to use substitution. So that's where equation one is coming from. The other thing we know about is that we mixed the 10% solution with the 60% solution. We mixed x and y to get this 40% solution, but we can also think about it in terms of the units of the number of gallons of saline. So here's what I mean. If you had the 10% solution and you had X gallons of it, and then you combine that with the 60% solution of which you had Y gallons of that, you would get your 40% solution. And we knew that there were 10 gallons of saline in there. So this is the number of gallons of saline in solution X, or I should say, yes, X, X gallons of the 10% solution, of the, I will write, of the 10% solution. This is the number of gallons of saline from the 60% solution, right? So we got some saline from the 10% um, solution, some saline from the 60% solution. We knew that totaled out to 10 gallons, and that's where equation two is coming from. And then once you can get through there, then it becomes a substitution, right? I'm going to take this y, and I'm going to substitute it in right there. And then it's a matter of distributing, right? Getting all the x's on one side, all the constants on the other. I arrive at x equaling 10, and then I can solve for y. But I, I have a feeling that the stuff that gets us here, it's, it's not from here on down. It's how we get from this word problem to these two equations. So again, just to reiterate, I knew I had a total of 25 gallons. And then I also knew I had 10 gallons of saline. I got some of the saline from the 10% solution. I got some of the, gal some of the saline or the gallons of saline from the 60% solution. And I knew that totaled out to 10. All right, so there is number 69. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.